our wallets are going to be sore next year. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today I'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 most anticipated video games of 2017. For this list, we'll be looking at the games that have us on the edge of our seats with anticipation. We'll only be considering games that are confirmed to be releasing in 2017, so this means that the new God of War is out, as is for the third year in a row, Kingdom Hearts 3. The future, it's already been written. Number 10, South Park, The Fractured But Whole, aka best title ever. We dedicate our lives to fighting crime for one reason, to make a billion dollars on a superhero franchise. The Stick of Truth had a rough development process, but all the hard work paid off as it became an unexpected hit back in 2014. Now creators Matt Stone and Trey Parker are looking to up the ante to an even more ridiculous level, pushing the profanity and biting satire as far as they can go. In Stick of Truth, you really rose to being cool because you became king, but in this game, they've kind of switched games and so you're back to being a douchebag again. The satisfying RPG mechanics of the original release seem relatively unchanged, which is fine, though the combat now has a nifty little grid system. Oh, shit, my atoms. The real draw here is the game's new story, as it aims to parody the current oversaturation of superhero movies in Hollywood. The narrative seems to be taking a pretty big crack at Marvel's Civil War, as the children divide into two opposing groups after not agreeing with Cartman's ideas. First, we start with a Coon movie, then we do the Super Craig movie, then Super Craig and Coon will join forces in the Human Kite movie just as we start ramping up Kenny's Netflix series. How come I have to have the Netflix series? I want a movie too. Number 9, For Honor. <laughs> So began a millennium of conflict. Who were the biggest badasses in history? Was it the knights? The samurai? Maybe the vikings? Well, we hope you can pick one of the three. The greatest warriors the world has ever known. Ubisoft's upcoming hack and slash multiplayer game puts forth that question in the ultimate battle for guts and glory. Players are able to choose a character from one of the aforementioned warrior groups before storming into large-scale epic battlefields. Combat additionally has a unique mechanic known as the Art of Battle, where the player must pay close attention to the movements of their opponents in order to successfully attack and defend, which provides a much deeper experience as opposed to just mindless button mashing. The creative director of the game has called it a shooter with swords, and that's more than enough to grab our interest. I am Apollyon. Number 8, Scalebound, has been cancelled. <laughs> Damn it, Microsoft, how are we supposed to get our Platinum Games fix for this year? Oh wait, there's something else. Number 8, Near Automata. It doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. The original Near was released back in 2010 to some mixed reviews and poor sales, but it has since garnered a cult following. Its sequel here, however, follows a set of completely original characters, namely 2B, an android soldier who can pull off some pretty sweet sword techniques, and has a robot partner that sounds awfully familiar. This elevator's controls are locked and cannot be used. This unit still carries remnants of the old machine upgrade code. Just like Bayonetta and Metal Gear Rising prior, Platinum Games' trademark stylish hack and slash combat is on full display, this time matched with an action RPG structure and an interesting camera that's positioned in a way that feels like the game is constantly shifting genres. After wowing us with an impressive demo, we're eager to see what's in store this March. The black box. It's ready. Number 7, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard. Capcom's survival horror franchise has been on the scene for many years, striking fear into the hearts of gamers since the original title's launch on the PlayStation in 1996. Unfortunately, in recent times, Resident Evil has lost its way, shifting its focus from uncomfortable atmospheres to bombastic Michael Bay-style action sequences. Alpha, come in. This is Delta. Fans have been clamoring for the series to return to its roots, and if the demos of Resident Evil 7 have proven anything, Capcom seems to be listening to what people want. The game is also set to make full use of PlayStation VR for all of those souls brave or crazy enough to experience the horror up close and personal. Fantastic. Good thing this is only VR and not also smell -a vision Number 6, Prey. With Prey 2 being cancelled in 2014, Fans wondered when or if they would ever be able to dive into this series again. To our surprise, Arcane Studios revealed that they were reimagining the series, and it looked pretty good too. The year is 2035. 
please listen. This isn't a dream. It's a nightmare. Taking place in an alternate future with highly advanced technology, the player assumes the role of a character aboard a space station where, all together now, things go terribly wrong. The game combines first-person shooting and deep RPG elements, with players able to fully explore the ruined space station overrun with alien creatures, obtaining new powers as the story unfolds. So it's essentially what Nintendo should be doing with the Metroid franchise. And although it's totally unrelated to the original Prey or the planned sequel, heck, we'll take what we can get. Good morning, Morty. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Number five, Horizon Zero Dawn. Sony is no stranger to supplying their systems with AAA exclusives, and Horizon looks to be the next big thing on, well, the Horizon. I saw, but I did not understand. Developed by the same team that brought us the brutal landscapes of war in the Killzone franchise, Horizon Zero Dawn looks to push the PlayStation 4 to its limits to deliver a thrilling experience unlike any other. There's the herd. Finally. Its post-apocalyptic setting seems to combine advanced technologies with tribal, prehistoric aesthetics, providing a truly unique gaming world to play in. visuals are breathtaking, the gameplay looks exhilarating, and the amount of options available to the player for how to tackle the many obstacles ahead gives us a sort of Far Cry vibe. If Far Cry had giant robotic dinosaurs, that is. Oh wait, there was Blood Dragon. Number 4, Ukulele. Do you feel like nowadays everything is becoming a shooter, an RPG, or a sandbox game? Well, you'd be justified in feeling that way, because that's kind of the reality. Thankfully, Ukulele looks to give a breath of fresh air to bring us back to the colorful 3D platforming days of the Nintendo 64 era. If the game seems eerily familiar to the exploits of a certain bear and bird, well, it should be, as the team behind the project are made up of former members of Rare. Ukulele seems to be a spiritual successor to Banjo Kazooie, made evident by its collectathon style gameplay and goofy jarring language. This one looks like it's going to be a blast to play, so get in or get out. <laughs> Number 3 Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar's open-world western from 2010 was one of the best games from the previous generation, and for a while, fans everywhere wondered if the company would ever see Red once more. As if the gaming heavens heard our prayers, Rockstar very suddenly announced a follow-up to the previous game, slated for release next fall. The stunning reveal trailer, although brief, provides several hints for what the sequel could incorporate in both narrative and gameplay. Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. With only a short teaser and a couple of posters, the hype has already exploded, so expect this one to be something big. Number 2 The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The latest in a long line of critically acclaimed video games, Breath of the Wild looks to energize one of Nintendo's flagship franchises with even more excitement than ever before. Strap in ladies and gents, Zelda is going open world. Breaking away from the more linear, story-driven approach that the past entries have employed, Breath of the Wild instead feels kind of like the first installment in the NES, dropping players into a massive world with no direction, allowing them to freely explore and experience the adventure at their own pace. With the game set as a launch title for the Nintendo Switch, it certainly looks like a title worthy of picking up the system for, if you don't already have a Wii U that is. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh no! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right, man the cannon! They're shooting back! Right. 
Number one, Mass Effect Andromeda. We've created a universe that you will lose yourself in. A whole new galaxy for you to explore. Bioware created a juggernaut with the original Mass Effect trilogy. And from the way things are shaping up with the next installment, they seem to have another home run on their hands. All these points could be vaults on other worlds. Dormant like this one. Set in an entirely new galaxy hundreds of years after Mass Effect 3, Bioware has been hard at work for the past few years, creating all new alien species and planets for us to interact with. Oh, and Bioware is claiming this to be their biggest game yet, so there's that too. To Andromeda, to build a new home for humanity. Throw in cooperative multiplayer and some amazing graphics, and this is sure to be a hit. Our dreams of peace were shattered. Any of the games on this list will be worthy of your time next year, but only one will completely annihilate your social life, and we're betting that's going to be Andromeda. Sign us up pronto. You represent some of the best humanity has to offer, and I again salute your bravery in accepting this mission. Do you agree with our list? Which video games are you most looking forward to in 2017? For more exciting lists to look forward to published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. And yet... Here they still stand, searching for a sign of peace.